In this video, I'll go over how to turn your Calc spreadsheet to have groups and an outline in LibreOffice Calc. This can allow you to turn your data into something more presentable, perhaps during presentations or for your own purposes. So stay tuned to find out how you can apply this into a sales report or any other data report that you may have. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. To get started with using grouping, first I'll demonstrate by selecting cells where I want the rows to be grouped. For example, I want to group the furniture seating category of all the products within it. So I just selected a few cells within that range. I could also just choose the actual furniture name itself. And to access the grouping functionality, we can go to data, group and outline, and then choose group. There is a keyboard shortcut here, which is F12, but I'll click my mouse on the selection first. Now the group dialog appears, and I could choose between rows or columns. For now, I want to do rows so that I will set rows 7 through 12 as one group. Now we see a little bit of a change to the left section of the sheet. Here we have a minus button and this hides the details of my group. If I click the plus button, it shows the details again. Now go ahead and add a group, this time to the furniture other section. So I'll select the rows directly from row 14 to 17 and try with the keyboard shortcut of F12. Now that it's grouped, I see the left outline here with the minus button. Now up here towards the top, there is a button of 1 and 2. When I click on 1, it hides the details of all the groups that I have for the rows. And if I click on button 2, it expands the details. That gives a quick way to hide the details for several groups at once. Otherwise, I could just hide the individual group by clicking the minus button associated with it. Now the way I have laid out my spreadsheet, I have subtotals for the furniture category in row 6 and row 13. I also have subtotals for the sales for each quarter in column E and column I. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to group according to a column. So here I want to group for the second quarter. I could just use the keyboard shortcut of F12. And we see here above the column, there's an outline. And I can contract or expand the details, very similar to the row groupings that I had earlier. And the same as well, we have a button one and two to quickly hide the details of the group or expand it. Now I'll show you how to ungroup or remove the groups in case that I might have grouped the wrong columns initially or I just no longer want to have the grouping in my spreadsheet. So I could select the column that I want, go back to data, group and outline, and choose ungroup. There is a keyboard shortcut for this as well. It is control and the F12 key. So after ungrouping, we no longer have the outline above it. And so the details are always shown for the second quarter in my spreadsheet. Here I'll try ungrouping by selecting the rows. and use the keyboard shortcut of Control and F12. And we see now that this group has been undone and no longer has an outline. Same with here, I could select a range of cells, press Control F12 and it automatically ungrouped the rows for me. So that's the basics of grouping and ungrouping. There is an advanced functionality that allows me to do this in an easy way, which is to use auto outline. I actually created a separate video going over this, which I'll link in the video description below. But I basically will apply grouping to my spreadsheet automatically. So now that I clicked out the outline, you can see that it detected a couple groups to my columns and also a couple groups to my rows. 
So hopefully this video was helpful enough to help you get going to use group and outline in your spreadsheet. Feel free to let me know in the comments or ask any questions you have. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.